where will your career lead you? Imagine working in any field of business. Life is very short, so you want to find a career that is rewarding to you. With accounting, there's lots of different paths you can take and lots of different industries you can touch. What if every business valued your skills? CPAs in many ways are doctors of business. We are the go-to people and that's where management looks when they are trying to make a decision. Where reputation means everything. You have to have a high level of integrity and you have to be willing to deal in facts. Imagine distinguishing yourself from others. When you have the CPA designation, you're above the rest where success is defined with every challenge. It allows you to enjoy financial security, but at the same time, have time for your family. You know what, maybe I want to be my own boss and you know, build my own business and make my own schedule. CPA, imagine the possibilities. As a child, I was into all different kinds of things. I was very sports-minded. I took softball, basketball, gymnastics. My mother tried piano, but it didn't stick. A lot of people thought I was gonna actually be a gymnastics instructor. As it turns out, I wound up doing something not quite as physical, but definitely wound up doing something in the sports world. The first thing I can say when I walked in the door was, wow. I am a girl from Powell, Tennessee, and I am in the National Football League. Here takes the snap, throws it in the flat, ball caught, Mason! My first job right out of college was with a public accounting firm. The training that I received was phenomenal. It teaches you to be a professional, it teaches you great communication skills because you're having to work with all kinds of management within the company. And I truly believe that without the training, um, I would not be where I am today. It is truly humbling to have upper management call with a question. To be able to answer the question, to be able to give them information that helps make a, a very, very important decision when we are trying to determine ticket prices. The accounting department will put together several examples if we were going to raise the ticket price a dollar, two dollars, in different categories, how that would impact our, our profit and loss. When I was in public accounting, I made so many connections and it truly escalated me in my career. Just by chance, I was playing softball with one of the partners that I used to work with. Well, about two, two days later, he called me and said, Janine, the Titans have an opening for a controller position. I thought you would be great. And I wound up getting the job here. And it was all through networking. From the day you start college, networking is so important. Making those connections, getting to know your professors, getting involved in activities, those are truly the building blocks for your future. There is nowhere else that I can sit in my office and see football going on. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful, like I said, family environment. Um, you're, you're just such a team and everybody has the same goal. Being a CPA, in an NFL team gives me a lot of self-worth. It's J.K. Rowling! I can see you have the book. The book business is very, very large. It's much larger than the movie business or the video game business in this country. Not everybody knows that. Harry Potter is the biggest series of books in, in publishing history, and the most recent book launched in an incredible array of parties, over 660 stores around the country, at midnight magic parties, um, where thousands and thousands of kids lined up to be able to buy the book at 12.01 a.m. The minute it came out, it's just a tremendous media event for us as well as a great sales event. 
our headquarters are right across the street from the first bookstore that our chairman and founder, Leonard Riggio, purchased in the 70s. It's a company that's very proud of its brand. We've been named the number one retail brand in America for three years running. The environment is what's very important to us and creating that place where people can come and think and read and browse and buy. We have a strategy here at Barnes & Noble to have more self-published product. We've had a very successful series, a weird series we call it. Weird New Jersey was the first book and it's now expanding to multiple states. One of my roles is to make sure that the investments we're putting in these products are returning earnings to our shareholders. To be successful as a CPA, first and foremost, you have to have a high level of integrity. In my role, I'm responsible for, in addition to the accounting and the typical CFO functions of treasury, cash management, taxes, talking to Wall Street, if you will, the analysts, you know, our shareholders. I'm also responsible for merchandise planning and control. Our stores, on average, carry about 150 to 200,000 different titles. And managing that inventory is really kind of a fun part of the business where you can add value to the people making those decisions in terms of what inventory should we put in the stores, what's the best value we can give them, what should be on the front table. I love the product, I love to read. Certainly being part of this environment, you're aware of so much more than you ever thought. I mean, 50 to 100,000 new books get published every year and you obviously can't read but a fraction of those. It's good to be part of something that you know, is good for people as well as exciting. I love to hang out in the bookstore, personally. When I was little, I've always been active. Some kids set up lemonade stands. I set up a club. And what I did is I had some kids on the block uh, come and pay dues for each week to uh, either get a ballet class or you know, scavenger hunts. And I think that built you know, the entrepreneurial spirit that I you know, have today. My name is Marlena Rodriguez. I'm a CPA. Probably when I was in middle school, uh, I was pretty good at math. And my parents just told me, you should become an accountant. And I think I just had that in my head. And I said, you know what? That probably you know, would be a good field. And I started contacting colleges as soon as I hit my freshman year of high school to find out about their accounting programs. And my sophomore year of high school, I was actually sitting in the bedroom of one of my girlfriends. Sitting on her floor, we pulled out the yellow pages and I started contacting some accounting firms in the area just seeing if they needed somebody to answer their phones and do some basic data entry so I could get my foot in the door. So I ended up calling this accounting firm and she needed somebody and it was a great stepping stone to you know my future career and where I am now. My role at Florida Power & Light is part of the logistics team. Every employee has a storm role and a storm responsibility and we get deployed wherever the storm hits. Uh, we're the first ones to get there and the last ones to leave. We're able to get power on for a lot of people. Our motto is whatever it takes. Since I've graduated college, I've been in, you know, in the corporate environment for about five years and I've been recently promoted to supervising a small group of people and people automatically associate a CPA, you know, oh, can you help me with my taxes? And not everybody is in that environment. Some people are in auditing and even here with my current job at Florida Power & Light, I am in the contract management area of our IT contracts. I work in conjunction with our procurement group, making sure that our budget and our forecast is on target. I think one thing that my mom has, has always said, that in accounting, you'll never starve. There are always accounting jobs in the paper. My plan once I start a family is being able to choose between whether I want to be the career woman and work the 40, 50, 60 hour a week in, in a corporate America, or having the choice if I say that I want to do my own thing and, and pursue my businesses that I currently have a building on the side and uh, you know, deciding at that point you know, what's important to me. If you know, family's important, then I have the choice to be able to leave corporate America and pursue my dreams to be an entrepreneur and own my own business and have unlimited income potential. <laughs>
Well, I grew up in one of North Carolina's oldest public housing communities. I grew up with a single parent. Uh, there was four other brothers and sisters. My mother instilled in all of us the values that we could become anything we wanted to be as long as we believed in ourselves. My sister and I, at the tender age of 10 years old and 12 years old, started a uh, ice cream shop out of our back door. Uh, learning how to handle money at a young age to account for uh, transactions. That type of entrepreneurship, that foundation was laid in me even at that early age. My name is Don McLeod. Uh, my company is Don McLeod CPA PC. The companies that I currently work with are printing shops, newspaper companies, web directories, mom and pop restaurants, catering businesses, individuals who have that entrepreneur spirit but just need a better understanding of the financial impacts of doing business. And CPAs come in and they help people to not only start a business, but also help them to better manage their business. A CPA is needed in every type of organization that exists, uh, whether it is a school, a small mom and pop restaurant, a large corporation. CPAs help businesses stay in business. I believe that every good thing has a starting point. Even that mom and pop software company today could be that Microsoft of the future. A CPA is something that not everyone obtains. It puts you in a small group of experts. You're a part of a profession that is respected, well-trained to carry out the needs of the clients. It is an exciting time to be a CPA. The financial rewards are there. You see the part? Where is it at? The opportunity to spend time with your family and not be so burdened down with work is certainly there. Job security is, is always an issue with other professions, but here, job security exists like nobody's ever seen. This is a profession that's gonna give you a lot in return.